Hi friends! I am in a different room than I was earlier for my table topics video and I came to this room because it's quieter and I'm going to read to you. So I said in the other video that I was going to read a story but I'm actually not. I'm going to read some poetry because poetry is um, a really special type of writing and poets who are the writers of the poems, they usually write poetry to express something that they're feeling or something that they're experiencing. So I'm gonna share with you three of my favorite poems from one of my favorite books of poems, and it's called Sidewalk Chalk, Poems of the City. It was written by Carol Boston Weatherford, and it was illustrated by Demetria Tacumbo. So the three that I've chosen are my favorites because um, I don't know. I really like what they're about. So let me show you the pictures to the first one. This one is called Sidewalk Chalk. And as you can see, there's a bunch of kids uh, outside using Sidewalk Chalk. Now, this book is almost 20 years old, but as you can see, as well, Sidewalk Chalk is still something that kids like to do today. So in 20 years, kids are still outside. And I've seen a lot of kids outside here in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood um, riding with sidewalk chalk. So I'm gonna read you the first poem, sidewalk chalk. And these are rhyming poems, which is one of my favorite things. Big and bold, write your name. Draw an arrow, then take aim. At a puffy heart, Kim loves Kyle. Doodling sure to bring a smile. How about some tic-tac-toe? You'll be X and I'll be O. Draw a yellow happy face or the finish line for a relay race. A wide, wide river to leap across. A little circle for beanbag toss. A bigger circle to play dodgeball. Trace a shadow, 10 feet tall. Make a line for tug of war, a sign and signs that no one dare ignore. Create a sun with a beaming grin, a great white shark with a giant fin. Draw a square to make home plate, a swirly figure eight to skate. Big and bold now, write your name. Keep the score for sidewalk game. Nice, huh? Okay, here's the next one. This one is about eating at a favorite restaurant, which we can't do right now unless we're doing takeout. But this one is called Eat at Moe's. So it looks like Moe's is a really happening place and they sell all sorts of food. I can't wait till we can go out to eat again. See all the people that we that maybe live in our neighborhood. This one is called E at Moe's. Crispy, crunchy, golden brown. Moe's meals are the best in town. Oil is sizzling. The grill is hot. Red beans simmer in a pot. Bacon's frying for BLTs. Burgers beg for melted cheese. Lake Trout wears a cornmeal coat. French fries sail in paper boats. Steak subs cry for onion rings. Hot sauce fires up chicken wings. White bread hugs a fried pork chop. Crushed ice chills a soda pop. Mo, Mo grills hot dogs. Hums a tune as folks chow down at the greasy spoon. So Mo, maybe that's Mo right there, right? With that chef's hat. Serves all sorts of different yummy things. French fries, bacon for BLTs, burgers with melted cheese, hot sauce with chicken wings. I think that's what I'm going to have tonight. I'm going to make some chicken wings. Let's do this last poem. I hope you've enjoyed it. This one, ooh, you can get creative if you have a cardboard box at your house. This one is called Cardboard Box. A 
cardboard box. What can you do with a cardboard box? Use it to show off your precious rocks? Build a clubhouse with a door? Or a counter for a grocery store? Make a stage for puppet shows? A slippery sled for winter snows? Invent a robot, a high-tech buddy? Or craft a chair to sit and study? Design a rocket bound for Mars? or turbo-driven racing car. Make a sign that says, no boys, or a chest for all your favorite toys. Don't throw that cardboard box away. Save it to jazz up a rainy day. Or jazz up your quarantine time when you're sitting inside the house with nothing to do. So I hope you really liked those poems. Uh, I'm going to find a way for you guys to share anything that you write or maybe something that you read with me. But until then, I hope you enjoy these little videos and share them with your family or with your classmates or just watch them again. And remember, I miss you guys and we will see each other soon and check back next week for another book or another game. And I'll see you soon online.